Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, PNP councillor says sorry. And in sports, reggae girls to face Canada, Mexico in CONCACAF Olympic qualifiers. Councillor Carrie Douglas has apologized for her conduct during a resegregation with a member of staff at the Bustamante Hospital for Children while seeking treatment for her child at the facility. In a statement on Tuesday, Douglas said she has taken note of the commentary concerning the incident and she recognizes that as a public official, her, quote, responsibility to show decorum and exercise great restraint is that much more, end quote. A standoff between Douglas and Dr. Judith Francis Bogle reportedly unfolded after the doctor determined that Douglas's eight-month-old son, who had a fever, was a non-emergency case. The altercation reportedly led to a two-hour shutdown of the hospital. BOJ urged to do more to halt slide of Jamaican dollar. Opposition spokesman on finance Mark Golding is urging the Bank of Jamaica to do more to prevent the slide of the Jamaican dollar against the U.S. currency. With the Jamaican dollar now selling for an average of $141.91, Golding says the bank needs to implement additional measures to stop the slide and address other issues. And in sports, reggae girls to face Canada, Mexico in CONCACAF Olympic qualifiers. Early next year, we'll see Jamaica's senior reggae girls heading to Edinburgh, Texas for the CONCACAF Women's Olympic Championships. The girls are drawn in Group B alongside Canada, Mexico and St. Kitts and Nevis for the championships, which will qualify two teams from the Confederation to the Olympic Games in Tokyo. The girls will again face Canada, who they lost 2-0 to during the group stages of the qualifiers. It will be a challenging match for the reggae girls, who will have to beat one or both teams in order to secure one of two spots from the group to the semi-finals. Dacus faces a major setback with Discus decision. World Championship silver medalist Frederick Dacus said the IWAF's decision to remove the 200-meter, 3,000-meter steeplechase, triple jump and discus throw events from the 2020 Diamond League final will be a major setback for his discipline. The Jamaican thrower expressed disappointment with the decision, stating that he was not surprised. In an interview with the Gleaner, he said that one of the measures being used to fight the situation is the creation of the Athletics Association. Dakers said he has joined the association which is demanding a greater say in the sport. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.